And welcome back to some more village plundering. We're gonna go around here, grab all the shit, and talk to this old man with green hair. What the f Alchemy is the practice of combining ingredients for powerful and often magical results. My family has used alchemy for many generations. Alchemy f effects increase in strength when you use formulas often. Yes, indeedy. You learn a lot of shit by talking to the peeps and they all have green hair. I want it as well. An adventurer must have shielding out in the field, ideal in strong armor. Bullshit. <coughs> and what can I do for you? We can buy some armor. We already got the grass vest, so we saved 120 talents on that. We could buy uh, <laughs> this one, but uh, it's really bad. It's like one defense and it costs more than the grass vest. Uh, I want to get the leather collar for the dog. It's so strong. And we'll get that later. Over here is a little secret shit place and we can get some more items. Clay, a biscuit, that's nice, and some ash. Uh, it's still the same session as uh, the last part, so it's still uh, June 13. And I hope you're having a great day. We're gonna continue in this game, try to have some fun. Go in here and talk to this dude. My brother, Strongheart, told me that he was going to look for the big bug in the bug muck. He said that there may be rare alchemy ingredients hidden in the bug's skeleton. Strongheart searches the area often for ingredients. And when he returns, he always gives uh, some of them to me. Then I sell them to townspeople who know alchemy for us. What a douche! It, he has sells what his brother gives him. Man, I go to the Bagamuck to search for Strongheart if I were a more adventurous guy. Maybe you can search for him after you've learned an alchemy spell. I'll provide you with ingredients, but not until you get the alchemy. Fine. And uh, the fire rice girl which people talk about is in that hut and we will go in there. Nice, nice lizard, huh? She knows how to sit, stay, shake hands, and roll over. How cool. Show it to me. Picks or it didn't happen, boy! Hello. The new alchemist Strongheart is missing from his jungle hut. Oh, is it this one? No, it isn't! You are an intruder. Get out of here. The vipers and other jungle beasts dare not enter our village. Fire Eyes protects us from them. Feel free to take the contents of my pots and gourds. Gourds? I don't know how to pronounce that. You'll need them if you plan to go into the jungle. So this girl actually makes it okay for us to take them, but the other people didn't say anything at all. At all. <laughs> and she didn't say anything like, you can take the other people things as well. Yep. He's so cute. Now I think there are some ingredients right here. The dog will find them for me. Or maybe not. You can hold down R to make him sniff. Oh, he found some ash. Let's go talk to Fire Rice. This is the heart of our leader. Please show Fire Rice your respect, man. Dude, I only show one human respect, and that's myself. Fire Rice, Fire Rice. Man, it must be so irritating to be her and listen to this every single day when she wakes up. <sighs> what? You interrupted my master bit? Oh. Hi. My name is Elizabeth. Everyone around here calls me Fire Rice. Oh, uh, hi. Crims is my name. You better make me a sandwich. Well, Crims, step into my hut. We'll talk. Now, let's see. What kind of voice are we going to give her? Maybe Laura from Silent Hill 2? I don't know. Who let this wild beast in here? Oh, that's my dog. He hasn't been himself lately. What's his name? His name? It's... Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go with what I named him in the last um, recording. It's going to be Ech. He's like that. Ech. Ech. No, that's original. And that's a John Tron reference. Yeah, you're not uh, from around here, are you? I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. You're on Evermore, 
my prehistoric village. I'm the leader. Man, I really suck at voicing. <laughs> you wouldn't know how to get to Pudunk from here, would you? Pudunk? Um, interesting. I might. Maybe we can work something out. How would you like to make yourself useful around here? Well, um... The new village alchemist, Strongheart, has wandered off to the Bugmuck in the east. He's been searching for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help him get back to the village, I will help you with whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leif Meldrock says in Morse Needs Lumberjacks, <laughs> I'm ready for anything. Before you go, I like for you to have an alchemy formula that I have developed. I call it Flash. But you don't have any... B uh, it's pretty powerful against mean creatures. So here we go. It's a small fireball. You can use the formula whenever you have one pot wax and two pots oil. Just let it, uh, you select the spell and let it fly. The more you use the flash formula, the stronger it will get. Cool, thanks. Now, let's get this some shit and get out of here. So we got the flash. And we got a quest to find Strongheart. And make him... Uh, come back to the village. In one piece. The dog found something. It was some oil. How nice. Then we can cast the flash. And now we are in the east. We're gonna kill all these plants. Actually, their name is Wimpy Flower. <laughs> so we're gonna punch all these wimpy flowers. They don't look very wimpy to me. If I saw these in the real life and they were so huge, I wouldn't call them wimpy. Ech, reaches level two. How nice. And there was something down here. Now these plants, they have 18 health, and they only give two experience points. And all the enemies, they also give you talents, and money, and all that, so... What stuck out uh, about this game very much for me when I was a child... And you know, it stuck out from A Link to the Past, and the Mario games, Super Metroid, all those games. It really stuck out because of the RPG elements, which I didn't... You know, I wasn't familiar with it. The, the feeling of, you know, numbers, that you can see how much damage you do. And uh, the feeling of a character getting stronger, have, getting money from enemies, buying shit, exploring places um, like that, and getting stronger with your characters. And the numbers, you know, health in numbers and all that. Uh, well, that... Ex that uh, is in like Super Metroid as well, but still, if you know what I'm talking about, it was so interesting for me and I love it. I never got tired of it. Now we would like to heal our dog before he dies, so give him a pedal. And these uh, skeleton snails, Esther, are very, very good for grinding. We just reached, let's see, we got uh, levels, both of us. Uh, they have 30 health and they give 20 experience points. So we can see here, we need about 160, 130. So leveling here is uh, very easy and a, a very good idea. Because um, the first big place we're gonna head to is the Bugmuck, as uh, they talked about. And the boss there, and the enemies, but especially the boss, is very difficult, especially for new players. And if you don't level up, you probably won't beat it. And there isn't a save point near it so it's like wow uh, it's difficult it's challenging and that's what i like about this game so i'm gonna try to level up so we uh, get one more level and then we're gonna head into the bug muck which is uh, south from here and explore that place and find stronghold so first thing first we need to kill this guy and get down here Maybe. It should be. There it is. There's a sand hole. Now, um, you might think you need to avoid them, but the. You. I think most players will get caught in them um, sooner or later. And uh, it will lead to something good. Wow, and I thought a little sand in the shoes was irritating. Let's get in this cave and loot the shit. 
Hello, man. Do you have any potatoes I can borrow? I don't know. We'll find out next time what this guy really wants. So I'll thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day, good folks.